Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. What started three years ago in McDonald as a discussion of whether to fix up the old stadium or build a new one ended tonight with the first game in the new stadium. It's not done yet, not even close, but it's to a point where a game can be played. I spent a couple of hours there earlier today just before kickoff. Opening night in McDonald. It is our top story at 11. McDonald Superintendent Kevin O'Connell cut the ribbon this evening, officially opening the new McDonald football stadium. For us to have a football stadium like this, a track that we haven't had a track mean in 30 years. So we're really excited to get this opportunity for our kids. It's more than uh, ever anticipated when you actually get here and, and see it and see the venue and you look around and you see the trees and it's just fabulous. Fabulous maybe, but not finished. Construction of the visitor side stands needs completed and could not be used tonight. Card tables served as ticket booths. There's no concession stand yet, and porta potties were the restrooms. Also, two trailers had to be brought in for locker rooms. We know it's important to take care of our parents and take care of our spectators, but the most important for us is getting these kids out on the field and let them have a chance to enjoy this. So once we knew the field was safe and ready, um, we really wanted to get him down here. Doug and Lisa Gilligan showed up early to get a good seat. Their son Nathan is a senior running back and linebacker. He's really excited to get a chance to play on it. Uh, we weren't sure uh, earlier in this year if we were going to get a chance to play, but um, you know they they rushed and got it done, and so these kids are excited to get a chance to play on it. This is the view high atop the home stands. The playing surface is artificial turf with Blue Devils printed on one end zone. The M logo in the middle and McDonald on the other end zone. The track has been laid. It's scheduled to be striped next week and will be ready for spring. Before the game, seven year old second grader Henry Capazello became one of the first to run a complete 400 meters, even kicking it in at the end. Did you get tired? A maybe a little bit. What do you think of the new track? Good. McDonald has its last home game next week against Western Reserve, and it is hoped the visitor side stands will be ready by then. The restrooms, the ticket booths, concession stand, and locker rooms will have to wait for next season.